All right, we're gonna learn the circular pattern tool today. Uh, but before I do, just a quick review of angles. Uh, it's often said that circles uh, have 360 degrees, but what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at the angle formed by these two red lines. If the angle is very small, you can see we get it all the way down to one degree before the two lines collapse on each other. So the angle is the measurement uh, between the two lines that meet, and we can see the angle is increasing all the way up to a very familiar, hopefully 90 degrees. That's a right angle. And we can go beyond 90 degrees all the way up to 180 degrees, and then the two lines form what looks like a single straight line. You can actually go beyond uh, 180 degrees, and if you notice, if you look at the orange line, the circle that's forming, you get a complete circle when the angle is 360 degrees. So this is really useful useful information when designing something like a gear. Uh, so we're gonna I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do today, and then you're gonna do a little practice. We're gonna try to make we are gonna make a gear like this. But before we do it, we're gonna practice something called the circular pattern tool, uh, just so you can get familiar with it. So I'm gonna create a new part studio. So if you're, let's start from scratch. So if you're, if you open up, uh, if you open up Onshape, right, you'll start a new document by clicking on the plus sign and go ahead and title it, your first initial of your last name. I'm sorry, first initial, then followed by last name, then the period of your class and then uh, let's title it Circular Pattern Tool, okay? Then we'll tap the navigation cube, look at it from the front view, and we'll go to our, uh, our tools, the little pencil icon, and it says select a plane. I'm gonna click on front right there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna select center point circle right here, okay? So now I'm gonna press and hold and I'm gonna to go to the center of the drawing that's called the origin, <coughs> excuse me, and then I let go and nothing happens. I've defined the center of the circle, then I press and hold again and this is gonna define the location of the circle. So I can make it as big as I want, doesn't really matter because I can always dimension it later. Now, when you're done drawing your circle, you will tap in the white space to release the command, sorry, double tap, because it thinks we're trying to draw another circle. Okay, now you can see that the circular pattern tool, I'm sorry, the center point circle tool is turned off. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna draw a pattern around the circle. Um, let's go ahead and draw another little circle at the top of this one. Actually, let's just do a line. Let's do a line. I'm gonna press and hold, and I'm gonna go to the very top of the circle and let go, then press and hold again, and I'm just gonna draw a little line. Good. And then I'm gonna double tap in the white space, or I'm just gonna turn off my line tool by clicking at the top. Notice you can turn it on and off. Okay, I'm gonna, create a whole bunch of little lines like a, like a watch or a clock using something called the circular pattern tool. So go to your tools and you'll see right here, circular pattern. Oops, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select, press and hold and select just that little line. And immediately you see three lines created, okay. If we want more lines, and they're evenly spaced out around the circle, if we want more lines, we can change, we can tap 3x and change it to 10 and hit the check mark, and now we have 10 lines, all right? And let's let's use the number 10 for a second just to prove something. So when you're done uh, with a circular pattern tool, you double tap in the white space. Oh, I did, that's not true, sorry, let's try it again. Select your line. I'm gonna click on the 3x and make it 10, okay? And then I think you tap once in the white space to finish the command. There you go, not double tap, just tap once. Okay, 
I want to show you that the angle between these lines is 36 degrees. And I know that because 360, which is the full circle, broken into 10 sections, 360 divided by 10 is 36. So let's go ahead and draw a line going from the top to the center and then from the center out to the next line. So that wedge that I just drew, those two lines, that form an angle of 36 degrees. Now, to verify that, we're actually going to use the dimension tool. By the way, I just turned off the line tool. I'm going to go get the dimension tool. Okay? And I'm going to press and hold. And I select one line. And th at this point, it tells me the length of that line. Don't worry about that. Press and hold again and select the next line and let go. And there you see 36 degrees. And that's 360 divided by 10, right? Uh, so similarly, if I say, well, let's change that to uh, 36. That's a lot of little spaces. Whoa, it got goofy. So let's try that again. Let's start from scratch. I'm gonna draw the line. I'm gonna turn on the circular pattern tool and I'm gonna press and hold and I'm gonna change that to 36. Whoa, that's a lot of lines. I just wanna show you that the angle between each of those segments is 10 degrees because 360 divided by 36 is 10. So let's check it out. There's one little wedge. I could make 36 of those wedges if I kept uh, drawing these lines, but I don't want to. But let's measure it. Let's actually use our dimension tool to click on both of those lines. And there you go. You can see that the angle is 10 degrees. I can bring it out a little bit to see it better. So 360 divided by 36 is 10 degrees. So just want to show you the relationship between the angle and um, the number of items that you, that you formed with a circular pattern tool. All right. Your job, your job is to uh, demonstrate your ability to use the circular pattern tool, okay? So I'm gonna do a new part studio and do an example. I don't want your example to look like mine, all right? But I wanna show you, you can use any kind of, any kind of design. Uh, so let's sketch on the front plane. I'm even gonna do a rectangle. I'll start at the top. I'll draw a little rectangle. Let's say a skinny rectangle like that, okay? I'm gonna turn off that tool, and now I'm gonna select the circular pattern tool. And what you have to do is select each of the items that you wanna pattern. So I'm just gonna press and hold, and little by little, select each side of the rectangle. Okay, and it looks like it did not select the top. I'm not sure, let's try that again. All right, circular pattern tool. I'm gonna select the bottom piece first, the little skinny one. Then I'm gonna select the long right side. Then I'm gonna select the other side and then the top. There you go. And now I, now I tap once to finish the command, and I have three of these boxes. Now, if I double tap the three X, I can modify how many there are. I can make 10, I can make 20, I can make as many as I want, okay? So now, Let's uh, let's add to this. Let's create another design on top of those on top of those little squares. Let's do let's just use the line tool maybe, and I'll make some little triangles that extend off the side. And turn off my line tool. Go back to the circular pattern tool, and I'll select just. I'm again. I'm pressing and holding, and I select just those two additional lines I made. Now, right now, it created, the default is to create three of them, right? And before I had 20 of the little rectangles, 
if I do 20 of, of these, then it'll show up on every one. If I want to do every other, then I would change that to 10. Let's do that. There you go. And let's do something a little more artistic looking. How about a squiggly line? I'll use the spline tool. Press and hold, let go, press and hold, let go, press and hold, let go, press and hold, let go. All right, this is called the spline tool. Feel free to play around with that. And now I'll use the circular pattern tool for this line. Oh, it doesn't let me. It does not let me pattern with this the with the spline tool. Oh, that's interesting. It's too too complicated, I guess. So maybe the geometry has to be to be a little simpler. So we could do something like a center point circle, as I did before, right? And then I could pattern some of those. And you can do as many as you want. I want everything to be mathematically correct, so I'm going to use, or not you know, correct, but kind of multiples of each other. So 10, 20, what would make sense? Five? All right. So there's my, there's my pattern. And I just, you know, I'm just making up some random stuff, but you can make some cool designs. So have fun with it. Uh, the requirement is that you use three different uh, designs. In my case, it was a rectangle, a triangle, and a circle but uh, feel free to get more creative and make something kind of cool.